what is up guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to do another reaction to another episode from south park yay i'm excited and uh, this episode is supposed to be uh, very very controversial and for that reason it is being banned and you cannot get access to this episode without some certain digging and uh, actually i did not do the digging here and uh, this was uh, sent to be my one of my good friends he did the digging for me so you shout out to him he knows who he is and uh, yeah south park being south park uh, i think uh, they have mocked almost all of the uh, religious idols here so we can understand why it is being uh, banned let's go ahead and react to it shall we Okay, Carol, put the card you picked back into the deck so I can't see it. I think that's David Blaine. What's going on? But this fella, David Blaine, he's doing magic tricks. Hey, where'd you get that ice cream? Poor butter is more worried about the ice cream. Sh share it with him. Okay, now hold this card up to the crowd. Was that the card you picked? No, I'm sorry. I picked the four of hearts. Four of hearts? Really? Look again. What the hell? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty cool, dude. Who's this asshole? He's a magician named David Blaine, dude. He kicks ass. Where'd you guys get that ice cream? Why, why is he also into the ice cream and not into what's going on? And where exactly did they get the ice cream from? Now I need to know. Sir, c could you come over here? Now, what I want you to do, Mr. Kern. Mr. Kern, I want you to just think about a card. Pick any card and picture it in your mind. Okay. Okay, just, just think about your card. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, now reach up your ass. Huh? Go on, reach up your ass. I don't feel nothing. Deeper. I, I don't feel... I don't, wait. Wait. Was that the card you picked? Yes! Oh my god! What the hell is going on? <laughs> that is one weird place to draw the card from. Still, let, let, let's go ahead. Oh. Wow, that's cool! How do you do that? Thank you. I've been traveling from town to town for quite a while. I've started quite a following, mostly because of my levitation trick. Yeah, that was one of his uh, famous tricks. Uh, he could actually lift himself, and he called it levitation. Not sure how he did that, but I'm pretty sure he had some rope or something from far away that lifted him. Oh, uh, watch. Whoa! No way! Damn, that guy is the coolest guy in the universe. Pamphlet, pamphlet. Here you go, kids. Take a pamphlet. David Blaine workshop. Learn all about yeah, David Blaine workshop. Learn all about David Blaine at the center of magic. Okay, free punch and pie. Dude, we gotta go. Yeah, they probably teach you how to do magic tricks. Hello, everyone. What is this? Like some cult? My name is Steven, and I've been a Blaintologist for about three years. Blaintologist. With a name like that, you can definitely say it's a cult. It's more like Scientology. Let me ask you all something. Do you consider yourselves to be happy? I don't think I'm very happy. I always fall asleep to the sound of my own screams. <laughs> oh my god, poor butters. Right. See, the reason that you are... And then I always get woken up in the morning by the sound of my own screams. Do you think I'm unhappy? I think Butter is unhappy because of his parents. They ground him for every single thing. Maybe that's the reason why. How many times have you felt like nobody knows the real you? You're not really happy. I'm not really happy. Your potential hasn't even been reached. My potential hasn't even been reached. Mom, Mom, I found out all about this great... David Blaine's got his own book, and it's called David Blaine's Teachings. As simple as that. A new magician named David Blaine. That's nice, Kyle. I eat. We spent all afternoon learning about how we aren't actually happy. I had no idea how unhappy I was until today. They gave me this cool... I think this is the first step of pulling you into any cult. They make you feel that you're unhappy or you're depressed, and uh, it's like they promise you that uh, they give you happiness, and... That is how they get you into the cult and probably rob all your money. Cool book to read, and I'm already on chapter four. Well, it's nice to see you so interested in something, Kyle. I, for the love of Abraham, you are going to eat this. So can I go to the magic camp to learn how to become a full member? All the other guys are doing it, and it's only $69.95. Magic camp? I don't know, booby. Ask your father. I do believe this. Prepare to be cleansed and release the magic inside you. I am prepared. <laughs> 
they are shaving everyone's head. It sure is a cult, definitely. Huh, jeez, it sure got cold in here. Next. Congratulations, young Blaintologists. From this day, you are clean. Now we have very important... They all look the same, like... Except for Cartman, you can definitely make it Cartman because he's <laughs> fat. So, yeah, like, and I don't know who the other people are, like... Work to do. David Blaine is going to put on a big magic show in Denver tomorrow night where he's going to eat his own head. Wow! So it's up to all you new Blaintologists to... How's he gonna eat his own head? Get as many people there as you can. Whoever gets the most people to come gets a prize. Kyle, I'm starting okay, to think so that this is a Stan. really bad idea. But the question is, is that Kyle? Hi, not Kyle. I'm Butters. I thought you were Kyle. No, I'm Stan. <laughs> You're Stan? Where's Kenny? Who are you? I'm Kyle. <laughs> Guess who I am, you guys. We all know that it's you, Cartman. <laughs> I think we may have gotten into something bad here. What do you mean? We're learning all kinds of cool stuff. Look at us, dude. These people are trying to change us somehow. I think it's time we went home. But David Blaine's gonna do more miracles in Denver tomorrow. I don't care. I'm leaving. Excuse me. Where are you going? I'm going home. You don't want to go home. You said we're free to leave whenever we want. You are. Then move out of the way. I'm not in your way. But you are in his way. And just see how he is trying to brainwash Stan from not going back. You are. Are you unhappy with the church's teachings? Let's just talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to leave. Why don't we go into the back room for a second and talk? Then you can leave. That's okay. I, I changed my mind. I'm going to stay. It's literally like he's threatening him not to leave, but not doing that at the same time. He's scaring him. That's great news. Okay, it's all clear. What are we doing? We're getting out of here. This whole thing has gotten way out of hand. Whoa, whoa, I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Kyle, this is stupid. It's not stupid, Stan. For once in my life, I feel like I'm part of something. A part of what? Some Gaywad magician's crazy life plan? Don't call Mr. Blaine at Gaywad. He's a brilliant man. No, they've just convinced you that he's a brilliant man. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. God damn it, I'm not going with you. I want to stay here. Huh? I thought you wanted to leave. Oh, wait, who am I again? You're Stan. How the hell is he confused about who he is? Oh, oh yeah. God, God damn it, hold on a second. <laughs> that, 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 that's a good one. That's okay, a good now one. look, dude, I'm getting out of here, and you're a dumbass if you don't come with me. Then I guess I'm a dumbass. Kyle, please. You, you're my best friend. Aww. Well, this is what I believe in now, Stan. And if you can't respect that, then I guess we're not best friends anymore. Whoa. Did you just walk away from your friend like that? Hello, ma'am. My name is Kyle, and this is Cartman. Now they have them as sales representatives. They're going door to door, I think, offering service to people and trying to fool people into their cult. We'd like to share our interest in David Blaine with you. Uh-oh, my husband warned me about you Blainiacs. I'm sorry, but I'm a Catholic. Uh, it doesn't matter, man. Blaintology is for everyone. There are Blaintologists who are Catholic, Buddhists. Why, even Kyle here is a goddamn Jew. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. And the fact that uh, Kyle is acknowledging that, he's like, yeah, that's right, I'm a damn Jew. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're not a cult? God, no. David Blaine is a real person. You may have seen his television specials. Look at their badges. It says Elder Cartman and his one says Elder Kyle. What the hell is going on here? On ABC. He also wrote a book and we'd like to share it with you. Well, all right. Come on in. Okay. And if you look here, you can see how David Blaine performed the miracle of being frozen in ice at Times Square. Ma'am, have you ever wondered what David Blaine's plan is for you? No, not really. Uh, see, that, that's interesting because... I'm so thankful for David Blaine's book, and I'm so thankful that he showed me the way to true happiness, but I think about his plan often. David Blaine is doing a big performance in Denver tomorrow night. We're sure his magic will entertain and astound you. He's going to eat his own head. How many tickets can we put you down for? Oh, I can't go. Oh, come on. It'll make you a happy person. I am happy. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> She's like, I'm happy already, but you see how they are, you know, trying to make her uh, understand that she's not a happy. They're forcing her. 
No, you're not. I really am. No, you're not. But I am. No, you're not. All right, two tickets. Great! <laughs> he kept going and going and going, and she's like, okay, two tickets. <laughs> That's 15 people we got to agree to come see David Blaine perform in Denver. Yes, Brother Cow, but our work is not over. We must still recruit 10 more audience members in order to get the prize. I think if we try Kenny's neighborhood, we might find a... Come, Brother Cat. We have no time for him. You better watch yourself next time, Abandoner! What the hell are they doing? They could have killed him, my god. It's scary. It's a scary cult. Probably that's what they do to people who walk away from the cult. Hi, Jesus. It's me, Stan, Stan Marsh. Marsh. Of course I know you, my child. Come in. If that's how easy to find Jesus, imagine how uh, easy life would be. Guys going around doing magic tricks and saying they're miracles. My friend Kyle thinks he's totally awesome. You are good to bring this to my attention, Stan. Cults are a very dangerous thing. I read in the Bible that you perform miracles, too. If you could go in front of these people and do your miracles, then they'll all see that David Blaine isn't so special. That's not a bad idea. Probably if G Jesus could uh, perform better miracles than David Blaine, people would uh, get out of their uh, illusions and, you know, get back to reality. The miracle I'm most famous for is turning water into wine. Can you do it again? Very well. I shall perform the miracle. Behold, here you can see ordinary water, clear, clean. Okay, now turn around. Turn, turn around. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Like, oh my god! I cannot control my laughter. Like, got a bad cold as well, and. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, turn around, turn around. And he just replaces it. My god. Uh, okay, now turn back. It is now wine. That's it? That's how you did that trick? W well, yeah. That trick sucks, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, we've got this, we've got this. Oh, uh, I guess it worked a little better on people 2,000 years ago. Dude, we have to do something. This guy's performing more miracles in Denver tonight. He's going to get more followers and it will be impossible for me to get Kyle out. Then let's go. But, dude, I, I don't think you should do that lame water to wine trick. Oh, don't worry. I have a few more miracles up my sleeve. This is a really good turnout. And now, ladies and gentlemen, David Blaine. Hello, my children. Ladies and gentlemen, may we have silence, please? as magician David Blaine will now eat his own head. What the hell, he actually hit his own head? organization grows larger every day. Soon the government will even have to give us tax exempt status as a bona fide religion. See? They're trying to make this uh, into a religion now. So definitely it's a cult. <laughs> Hold. It's Jesus. What's he doing here? My children, it is time for you to go home and stop following this false prophet. You should be using your money and time for other things. These are simple magic tricks. His magic is interesting, but will it put food on your table? Feeding the hungry, now that is a miracle. Behold, I have here five loaves of bread and three fish. Certainly not enough to feed this entire crowd, but now, turn around. <laughs> when Stan brought, brought Jesus here, he clearly mentioned do not do that uh, wine, uh, water to wine trick, but he's doing the same thing with uh, the bread and fish. My God, this is. <laughs> oh 
my god sorry sorry for my uh, bad cold sorry I'm, I'm not able to control <laughs> how is he going to uh, put more let's see turn around okay now turn back <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god this is like one of the most funniest episodes i've seen <laughs> that's for sure uh okay okay calm down calm down calm down now how the hell did he do that cartman is really such an idiot he's so stupid everyone even a child like much younger too maybe even a baby could make that out wow your magic is old and outdated jesus well, just like you are oh really then what's this ace of spades doing behind your ear Jesus Christ. He's incredible. <laughs> Jesus Christ is calling for himself. He's like, Jesus Christ. He's shocked. The old religions have failed you. What have they offered except for war, poverty, and sadness? Blaintology offers you the key to living your life to the fullest. Will you join us? Yes! This magic is too powerful, Stanley. I've never seen anything like it. Then what are we gonna do? I cannot face him alone. We must get the help of all the super best friends. Buddha, Buddha, come in. Super best friends? <laughs> like Avengers Assemble. Oh my god, this is this is getting really good right now. This is Buddha Jesus, go ahead. Buddha, we may have a problem. The accent. The Indian accent. My <laughs> god. It's like the Justice League. I've just encountered a magic I've never seen before. I've got everyone together. Come as fast as you can. Come, Stanley. We must travel far and long. To where? Distances unfathomable to man. Yea, take hold of my robe, Stanley, and do not open your eyes. I am ready. Why should he not open his eyes? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> they, they are doing Jesus like real good. <laughs> are you still keeping your eyes closed? Yeah. Good. You want some peanuts? <laughs> want some peanuts? <laughs> What the? What in the actual hell? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we've just gotten word from Mr. Blaine himself. The government has denied our church's request for tax exempt status. But we want tax exempt status. Yeah, why is that good news? Because Mr. Blaine has arranged for all Blaintologist members from every city and state to march into Washington and demand our right for tax exempt status by committing a mass suicide. Mass suicide? Mr. Blaine has said that by killing ourselves in Washington, we are guaranteed everlasting happiness in the afterlife. <laughs> Get your things ready. We leave for Washington at dawn. Did you hear that, guys? We're finally gonna die. And why is he so excited for that? All right, Stanley, you can open your eyes now. This is the Hall of the Super Best Friends, Stanley. The headquarters for those who stand for what's right. Jesus, we've been working hard since we got your distress call. Who the kid? Stanley, I want you to meet some of the Super Best Friends. Buddha, with the powers of invisibility. Muhammad, the Muslim prophet with the powers of flame. Krishna, the Hindu deity, Joseph Smith, the Mormon prophet, Lao Tzu, the founder of Taoism, and Sea Man, with the ability to breathe underwater and link mentally with fish. Is that like Aquaman? Sea Man? I'm sure there's a lot of play on words on that. 
So you mean to tell me that even though people fight and argue over different religions, you guys are all actually friends? More than friends, young boy. We are super best okay, friends. Okay, I get it. Uh, I think since this is uh, the Islamic prophet, maybe that is why the episode got banned. I'm not even sure if uh, I can show this here. I don't know. Let's see. With the desire to fight for justice. We all believe in the power of good over evil. Except for Buddha, of course, who doesn't really believe in evil. <laughs> that's that's great, actually. You know, he's he does not believe in evil. And that's why he's like, the ignorance is bliss. That's great. That That's a, such a chill wow. mentality. Jesus, come look at this. After your distress call, we entered David Blaine into the Super Best Friends computer. Many interesting things showed up. He was raised in New York City by a decent family, but a freak washing machine accident at the age of 12 made him learn the ways of the black arts. That's right, Seaman. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I definitely saw that coming. Seaman. Well, that's what I said. Seaman. <laughs> Stop it! It's just me, uh, Brother Kerr. Why do you disturb my rest? Dude, I don't think I want to be part of this anymore. What? Good for you, Kyle. Good for you. Better now than never. I think Stan might have been right. Anyway, I think it's going too far. I mean, if I kill myself, it's going to make my family really sad. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't want to die either. I haven't even gotten my pubes yet. I think... Come on, that that's what he's concerned about now. We should bail. If we leave the group, maybe other people will get the courage to leave too. Yep, you need to be a pioneer so people follow you. That could, that could be difficult, Brother Cap. But alright, listen. Why don't we sleep on it? If we decide to leave the faction, we can do it in the morning. Okay. Okay, you're right. Uh, uh Cartman. Thanks. Cartman? He's right behind you. It looks like Cartman... Jude, the hell out of Kyle here. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? He's in a snow bubble. I told on you. I told on you. What have you done, Cartman? This is for your own good, Brother Kyle. You must. I mean, I think he's in a snow globe. Sorry. Let's understand, Brother Kyle. You know too much about the church. If you left now, you'd become a danger to our cause. And, and you know what else Kyle said? Um, Cal, he said that if we were all going to commit suicide, that he wouldn't do it. That's so Cartman. Cartman, you badass cattletail. At least I'm not the boy in the plastic bubble. The suicide pact will go as planned. If we die, we all die together. Look at that, Jesus. His followers are growing at a rate even faster than mine. It appears this David Blaine is as dangerous as you and your young friend had feared. I knew it. Here, I have a videotape of his performance the other night. Perhaps we should have Moses look at the tape and see what he comes up with. Moses, scan this tape. Can you tell us the source of Blaine's power? Give me the information. Wow, the Moses. His magic is a combination of centrifugal alignment and sleight of hand. Wait a minute. I'm picking up movement from Blaine Tologists all over the country. The Blaine Tologists are heading to Washington. But why? Wait a minute. At his performance, David Blaine said something about trying to get tax-exempt status. Oh my god. What? If he gets tax-exempt status, then he'll become a real religion. He would become unstoppable. Meanwhile, in the nation's capital, Blaine Tologists from all over the country have gathered to commit mass suicide. If the government will not give us tax-exempt status, then we must prove that we are willing to die for our beliefs, Twelve. All right, brothers and sisters, gather around. It's time to drown ourselves in the reflecting pool. However, the uh, reflecting pool is a little more shallow than we originally thought, so to drown ourselves, you will need to lie on your stomach, face down, until you die as such. What the hell? <laughs> How are they even going to do that? Like. Probably if it was deep enough, people jumped into it, there's no way getting back, but people can just stand up and walk away from here. <laughs> he actually killed himself. Next. Meanwhile, at the White House... Mr. President, we can't let them all kill themselves. But we can't give them tax-exempt status either, Carl! 
Hey, George, what's going on? All right, Brother Kyle, it is time for us to die. Cartman, we've been brainwashed, don't you see? We don't have to do this. But it's the only way for us to be happy. Cartman, no! I was actually wondering how uh, uh, Cartman is going to drown Kyle, but he's got a pipe that, you know, it's going to fill his bubble up. To die. Not so fast, David Blaine. Jesus, not again. Yes, but this time, I brought some help. Super best friends, Paul! Buddha! Joseph Smith! Smith. Krishna! That's it! See, man! The mass suicide is over, Blaine, and so are you. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Get, Get them! them. Ah! My ice breath should take care of you. Kyle! Kyle! Sweet salvation! Kyle? Oh my skinny? God! How is he able to make that it's make make it out that it's skinny? He was confused. Who was uh, Kyle and you know Butters? He was confused between them, but he's able to make out who Skinny is. They killed Kenny! You bastard! Good news, Kyle is still alive. Kyle? Oh my God! They killed Kenny! You bastard! Oh my God! They killed Kenny! That takes care of them. Now it's your turn, Blaine. Perhaps you need to see some real magic. <laughs> oh, this looks like trouble. So long, super best. He just brought Abraham Lincoln to life. Fools. Kyle, stand. Kyle, you can't kill yourself. I don't want to kill myself. They break this thing to fill with water. We've got to stop that oversized Abraham Lincoln. Muhammad. Great Scott. Okay, try again. Hit. Pretty sure Cartman is not going to do it. It is too powerful, Jesus. It seems to have no weakness. There has to be a way to destroy it. Jesus to Moses. Meanwhile, at the Super Best Friends League. Come in, Moses. What? We need to know how to kill a giant stone Abraham Lincoln. Um, really, um, a giant stone John Wilkes Booth? You heard him, super best friends. We've got to make a giant stone John Wilkes Booth. Krishna, we're going to need wood for a mold. Form of a beaver. I'm pretty sure Krishna cannot do that. They had the eagle part correct because uh, I believe uh, Krishna uses uh, eagle as one of his... Uh, travel he used that uh, he used to ride back on eagle or maybe he used to take the form of an eagle i'm not sure about that but uh, people usually associate uh, krishna lord krishna and uh, eagle together but beaver not sure about that i will find sources of concrete you get the water to mix it with semen <laughs> oh my god <laughs> stop it with this semen come on <laughs> poor guy he feels so left out. <laughs> Using the wood that Krishna cut down as a beaver, Jesus uses his master carpentry skills to make a giant mold. That should do the trick. Now for some concrete. Meanwhile, in the ocean depths, Seaman seeks out water to mix with the concrete. Sea man. Look, Swallow, we should be able to divert the water with that pipe. And so, Seaman and Swallow get to... Okay, so there is a, a Swallow. He has, as a sidekick, maybe Seaman and Swallow, really. Too much of play on words going on right here. Dude, get to work! Kyle, you have to hold your breath! Oh, very funny. Lao Tzu, bring it to life. Using his power of Taoism, Lao Tzu becomes one with the giant stone John Wilkes Booth. It worked. Now freeze over the pool so no one else can drown themselves. Okay. Yeah, just about to do it. Oh yeah, like you would have done it. Come on, Carvin, we, we all know about you. Just shut that up. Later, at the exact same location, 
Damn you, super best friends. Your magic is no match for our powers combined, Blaine. Then I guess you win this time, super best fools. But I'll be back. Whoa. God damn it! It's all right. Everything is as it should be. Oh, shut up, Buddha. <laughs> oh my god. They are sick and tired of Buddha's, like, cool-headed attitude, but I dig it. Our leader, he's... He's leaving us. Don't leave us, David Blaine! Listen up, everyone. You don't need David Blaine to tell you how to live. You see, cults are dangerous because they promise you hope, happiness, and maybe even an afterlife. But in return, they demand you pay money. Any religion that requires you to pay money in order to move up and learn its tenets is wrong. You see, all religions have something valuable to teach, but just like the super best friends learned, it requires a little bit of them all. He's right. He, he's right. Thanks for saving me, Stan. You're my super best friend. That's a good speech from Stan. I'm glad the South Park touched this subject. But, hmm, let's see. You're my super best friend too, Kyle. Oh, that's so sweet, you guys. You want to go get a room so you can make out for a while? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, 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 that was nice, Cartman. That was nice. <laughs> Well, it looks like everything worked out. And so, Jesus and his companions leave Washington. But their return is assured, for there will always be a need for the Super Best Friends. Okay, guys, so just like that, the episode is over. And I really, 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 really enjoyed this episode. This was one of the best so far I've seen. And uh, huge shout out to uh, Pablo Escobar. Sebastian Andre and uh, Vinay Narayana Swami for recommending me this episode to react to and I can definitely see why it got banned but not sure if I can do this but let's give it a try so yeah and if you guys really enjoyed uh, my reaction make sure to hit the like button and make sure you also share this with your friends and Please, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. If you guys subscribe, that gives me a huge boost for me to do more videos for the future. And that'd be much appreciated. So thanks for watching. Bye.